Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about children, school going children and technically we call them middle childhood that is 6 to 11 years and we are going to talk about growth and development. I am Dr. Anjana Agarwal. We are talking about growth and development of middle childhood 6 to 11 years. So this is an age where you find the full of joy, learning, habit formation and the boys and girls have started growing in various phases, various learning processes and till the age of 9 years there is hardly any gap between boy and girl and slowly slowly it is a time to go forward for the puberty. Let us understand the different characteristics of this age. First we will try to find out the study growth period and when we talk about the growth it is related to the shape, size, in height, weight etc. It is also a period of habit formation and that habit may be about food, about likes and dislikes, plays, activities etc. Now this is a age of academic achievements also that is why we call them school age. In this age children go to the school, learn many things, pass many things, achieve many things that is what the childhood is. Motivation from parents is very crucial because in this age they try to be independent they are not yet self-reliant. Hence the role of peer and school is very very crucial. They also need to be watched at the same time they are given the freedom. They need to be disciplined. In this age Though the growth velocity is at a steady rate, but there is a gain in height. Every one year or few months, the, their clothes become small. They need to buy the new clothes. They gain in weight. So on an average, they gain 5 to 7 cm per year in height and 2 to 3 kg per year in weight. Here is a just an indication. That may vary from child to child depending upon various factors. Here I will show you the height between boys and girls. You will find at the age of 6, 7, 8 the height of the boys is little higher than the girls. At the age of 9 years the height is more or less similar but at the age of 10 and 11 years the height of the girls are little higher than the boys. This indicate the girls grows much faster than the boys at this age. When we see the weight, it is also the similar pattern. The weight of a boy at the age of 7 years is approximately 22.9 kg while the weight of a girl at the same age is 21.8 kg only. When we see at the age of 10 years, you will see the weight of a boy is 31.4 kg while the age of a girl at the age of 10 years, the weight is 32.5 kg. So you can understand the velocity of the girls and boys. So this is the time there is a distinct between the two genders girls and boys. Now we are talking about the head. Why we are giving the strength for the head because there is a difference between the head size in this age and the adult age and the newborn age and that is proportional to the rest of the body as the child grows. Newborn is one fourth of the size of the body then one sixth at the age of eight years one sixth of the body and adult size is one eighth of the body. You can see this difference in this picture very distinctly. Now teeth are very very important and this is the time the children start falling their teeth automatically and because till the age of 
3, there are 20 teeth, they are called pump milk teeth. But as the child grows up from 6 to 11 years or in other words middle childhood, there are 28 teeth and they are permanent teeth. This is a full mouth teeth there. You will found at what time they grow or develop and what time they fall. I will give you one example. At the age of 8 to 12 months only, the central incisors develop that is during infancy. But at the age of 6 to 7 year, the central incisors fall down. So that is how you will come to know that at what age in month that is written on the left side and they grow different types of the teeth and at what age they fall down at different age group that is in years. So second molar fall, fall down at the age of 10 to 12 years that is the last one to fall down and the last one to grow. Now we are also developing in height that means this is the age when bones are also growing that is called the ossification. They are growing not only in the length but they are gaining the strength also. Here your physical development and physical activities are correlated. At the same time they are also covered with fat and muscles. See the two little children, young boy and the young girl, they seems to be the siblings. So girls start gaining more fat around arms and trunk at the age of 6 to 8 years while both boys and girls start showing differences in many physical features as I just told you while explaining the difference between the height and the weight at this age group. Now when they are going to school, they start enjoying the playing ground. They play in the company of their friends, siblings at home. They play them to improve their motor activities like coordination, balance, rhythm, speed, etc. And when we are talking about the coordination or finer things, so the two words can be used here and that we call it muscular coordination or we can also call as gross motor development or fine motor development. That means when we are talking about the gross motor development, there is a muscular coordination between the large muscles of their arms, leg, neck, trunk and they are being used in various activities like walking, climbing, jumping, etc. But at the same time, fine muscular coordination is also required. That means we use the finer muscles of the fingers, eyes, neck for writing, drawing, craft, dancing, etc. This is a sensitive period. Why sensitive period? Because it is the time when one learns and do specific activity most effectively. As I told you in the beginning that it is a learning age, it is a habit formation age. If this any activity is learned at this age can be learned forever, can be mastered and that will stay forever. So they can learn maximum number of variety of skills Hence, you will find the number of cases, number of subjects, number of activities the children are involved in. And sometimes the children are sent to different type of school activities and extracurricular activities also. I will give you some examples here. They enjoy variety of activities and keep themselves busy. They like to paint, draw. Their vision is very sharp. They can think. They can do any activity with movement with more grace, rhythm like playing, dancing. Now is the time they dress and groom self 
completely. They can use various tools also, screwdriver, hammer in the lab, in the kitchen, whatever they do, they can do it. Now we are talking about language development. This is very crucial because whatever they will speak, learn to speak, that will stay forever and that will help them to develop their social skill and other communication skill also. What are the basic criteria we just understand what they can do it? They have the better ability to use language well developed. They can communicate clearly in the society with the family, peers and strangers even. They understand and express other languages also if opportunity is provided by. This is the age to have the fun. So they use tongue twisters, metaphors, long stories, songs, etc. and they can remember very well. Since they are going to the school, they can count backward. They can associate dates with the events. They read more. They enjoy reading. They can also understand the concept of space and fractions. They draw, paint, enjoy collecting objects. Someone will collect the stamps, someone will collect the paper, designs, whatever they like. They also enjoy writing stories, letters. And nowadays there are a lot of medium of communication, phone, etc. Now we will talk about the social and emotional development at that age. This is a habit formation, an enjoyable age. So they always want to be with their friends. They cannot linger on always with the parents as the young child used to be. So social development involves not only the learning to behave in a socially approved manner, but also developing the ability to get along with them, share with them. When we use the word emotional development, that is little different from the social development because they gain the control over their emotions and the learning to express themselves in socially approved manner. If a child of two years cry, nobody minds. It is her acceptable age to cry. If a child of 10 years cry, then it is a matter of concern. Why that child is crying? So that is the expression of emotion. Now, the role of parents is very crucial. They need the support from the parents because they have not yet self-reliant. In every aspect, they cannot take decision. They are growing. They need to live in the house. They need the support to eat the food. If they get the food, then only they will eat the food. If they get the clothes, then only they can wear themselves. But that for all provisions, they need the support of their family, parents, etc. They trust their parents. Parents accept the ways and reactions of their children in certain situations. They need to provide the provisions. They need to be supportive whenever they need their help or in crisis. In that way, they help them to develop self-confidence in whatever way they do it. They also discipline them whenever essential. They never cling with their parents. They also need the peer group. What is peer group? Peer group are the playmates of the same age group. They enjoy life like anything. Why the peer group is important for them? Because they see the same age child is also growing in a similar way as I am going. They learn better in the group. They can share the personal problems also. You have a child just listen silently when the, this age group children are talking to themselves. How they share their problem. They f what they face the problem at home with the child, uh, teacher, with the other friend, they also have fun and play. Now the 
role of a school is also important because they spend lot of time in a school. They are going there not only to pass the exam, but they learn and gain knowledge beyond that also. So, school must provide the opportunities to encourage them in doing well in his studies, sports and other activities. It is a place for the social emotional development, for the development of the language, for the development of the communication because they are exposed to the world outside their home. See how they are communicating. Now we will talk about the cognitive development. When the cognitive development is there, it is related to the perception of an object with the thinking, with the intelligence, with the behavior is the resultant of the cognitive development. So, we use the word cognition with relation to the mental ability to perceive anything. There are some characteristics of cognitive development. In this age, it is very important, of course it is important in every age, but there are certain concepts or characteristics which is important unknowingly they learn and develop and establish. For example, the concept of fantasy and reality. The child of 3-4 years may think like a fairy tale, but this age is beyond that they can differentiate between the fantasy and reality, sometime the imaginary world and actual world they can find the difference between two. At this age they are egocentric also, I think this way, but they are empathetic also that means they can understand the others point of view also. In this characteristic I would like to add on that if these characteristics are highlighted and trained or told in variety of ways, if developed and made into a habit that will take them long in a better way in rest of their life. So, they will learn that others can also have a different point of view what they have it. Third characteristics is reversibility. Here reversibility means ability to think and follow backward steps. That means the certain happening has been done in previous days that that can be linked with the happening of today. If something has been learned few days ago or few months ago, few years ago can be used or reused today. So, follow the backward step. Other characteristic is seriation. See these children are playing with the objects, trying to screw them into a final toy and they have been given a different time. And they need to develop the speed to finish the task in certain time. So, if they have the period in the school, they have been given certain task. So, they learn to finish that task in that period only. So, they have to manage with the time and speed and they have to arrange the objects in order. So, that is a part of your of their cognitive development. This is very interesting as they are learning. So, they have the conversation. Here we are talking about the conversation about not talking about two people, but the ability to understand physical features of an object. That means, if a teacher is trying to teach about the fan, they can just show this fan here and they will understand how the fan works. How, many, how are the physical features of it. So, that is how the teachers use variety of models to teach the subject because that helps them to develop the cognitive way and they this is a kind of conversation between the object and the final learning about that object. Another feature is classification. 
which is very very important. In learning we see the title quite often the classification of x, y, z. What do you mean by classification? So, classification means the ability to arrange and classify. There are four objects. The similar object will contain a one group, another group, another group and they will arrange in certain manner. So, this ability is attained this way. Now, I will summarize what you have learned. You have learned what are the characteristics of a middle childhood that is between 6 to 11 years old, physical development and that we have talked about the weight and height, how the teeth grows, what is the difference between the their size of the head. Then we have talked about various development, maybe the ability to do the activity in gross and finer motor development, muscular coordination, language development, socio-emotional development and the various characteristics of the cognitive development. I hope you have learned this lesson very clearly. Thank you.